the nether. The place you don't go unless you really have to. But not for long. Because Minecraft 1.16 just rolled around. And that brings... Oh, so many new possibilities. So let's hop right into a video and see what some of those are. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And as you can see by my sparkly new netherite armor, we are in Minecraft 1.16. So, let's me just change to first person, because this is horrible. Okay, um, so, today we're going to be looking at a few building tricks and tips with all the new beautiful woods, netherite, whatever. We've got tons of stuff, so I'm going to be showing you around all the blocks. So let's get right into that now. Okay, so here are a few of my favourite blocks. So firstly, these new woods. Oh my gosh, how long have we needed woods like this? This, especially the polished, oh my gosh, great for pillars. This is a slightly more orangey glowstone, also great. This looks really sick blackstone oh i don't even know what to say this actually has quite a cool little texture so i mean it's not really building block but still this is very nice in like dark areas to give it a bit of definition beautiful new quartz netherite these are great for stone detailing i love what they've done with the cracked nether bricks and the wither skeleton on here and we've also got these new vines which you can climb up they're quite hard to use but when you find a good use it's good and here we have the soul torches and lanterns and stuff oh my gosh love the soul lanterns they're incredible but aside from the building blocks here's one that i really like it's the target block and it actually sends off a redstone signal so I've got a few examples here. So here I actually have a little game. Gives you netherite every time you hit it. That's the beginner. No. There you go. Pro. And expert. Uh, yes we did it first try yes right <laughs> but let's stop getting distracted by these because this is a very simple thing just compare to repeater into a dispenser let's get on to these two builds which i've made using lots and lots of the new blocks so let's start with this. So if you couldn't tell already, this is a nice little manor house. And first up, um, right under here, under these little um, hedges, are the new, don't know what they're called, the new glowstone mushroom blocks. And as soon as you come in, we've got netherite, blackstone, blackstone. Just looks great as little pillar thingies. We've got polished um, basalt, polished basalt, nothing special here. We have got the new woods, which look great. We don't need to use prismarine because we actually have a nice wood. More basalt pillars here, and I've incorporated the blackstone. And I love these soul lanterns. Oh my gosh. These, um, they call, I don't know what they're called. These great for detailing that just gives it a center point to look at and the chains oh my gosh chains 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 i've used them everywhere they also hang on to the lanterns which looks great i've used some um walls down here to make it look very dark but if you actually fly really far away the black around the windows just looks incredible it gives it tons of definition, and I just love it. I also used this slightly more purpley block 
um, to just give it a bit of um, definition in the windows. And this is just completely useless, but I did use a soul campfire up here. And those are all the new blocks I've used in this build. But just look at, like, before these wouldn't have been hanging. This would have to be stone bricks. I don't know what these would, oh, don't know what these would be. This would be prismarine. These would just be normal lanterns, which would really take away from the mannery glow. Hey, let me just show you what that would look like. Because I really like the blue theme. And when you just put these in, it just kind of ruins it. So that is why I love these new soul lanterns. They give so much possibility. And that doesn't look anywhere near as good. However, this overall is a really nice build. I only did the front. The whole thing would take a while just for a example in a video. But I did the whole thing on this one. So this is my barn. And I don't know why I've never used a colour palette like this before. But bone blocks, birch and whatever that's called. Warped wood or something. It looks great. Just great. So here we've got a classic American barn. Shush cow. We, um, textured the roof. Got a nice curved thing. You can pause the video here if you want to see how it goes. And you can replicate this. Really repetitive, simple design. Put some fences in the windows. Got these all around with some vines. Yeah, nothing too special. And here we've got the new fences which make a really nice contrast i love this chicken coop design by the way it's not actually like a new thing but still looks great it's very loud in here but we've used the chains again which looks so good i'm probably going to use them in every one of my builds now they just look great use fart hmm. that pig just farted However, I think I need to say that soul lanterns and chains and these two new woods are by far my favourite. Blackstone second, polished basalt next, but oh my gosh, the chains, yes, I've been needing them for so long. I think Minecraft were always planning on putting them in after the lanterns, but yes. And here we've got some, like, nether wart and stuff. The These stems actually do look pretty cool. They're just very hard to incorporate into an everyday build. You need to be building some sort of alien UFO to really make those pop and work. But... Oh yeah, capes are now free on bedrock. Another great thing about this update. Love it. But, there are emotes now. Claps, waves, hello. I might use this in all my videos now. Just like, hello. However, I think that is what we've got time for today so i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe go check me out on omelet arcade and well good